Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies, and today we're gonna talk about the man himself, obviously, Satoshi Nakamoto being alive. So after four years of inactivity, the account at Peer-to-Peer -peer Foundation of the person or persons who invented Bitcoin has posted, and it has got the crypto community buzzing with excitement. And if the account is genuinely controlled by Satoshi Nakamoto, then what should we make of his solitary past and the befriending of a Brazilian of Japanese descent, Vane Tamanha? And I'm really sorry if I do say your name wrong. I'm gonna be saying your name quite a few times in this video, so I highly apologize for every time I say it wrong. So crypto sloths who have followed the twists and turns of the modern day folklore that surrounds the true identity of Nakamoto have gone into overdrive. So what is the meaning of the post of the word Nor on the 29th November? Who is Manaha and why was he friended? But do you guys remember how Newsweek didn't do much to enhance its journalistic reputation when it claimed to have found Nakamoto back in 2014 after tracking down someone with a similar name living in California? Suffice so to say, they were barking up the wrong tree. The story was referred to by Satoshi at the time and was the latest post to Peer to Peer Foundation before the latest activity began. But before everyone gets too excited at the prospect of the big reveal, many have questioned the significance of the new activity, suspecting that the account is no longer Nakamoto's control. The email used by Satoshi Nakamoto to sign up to Peer to Peer Foundation, satoshian at gmx.com, uh, was apparently hacked, or at any rate, the ownership of the GMX domain was allowed to lapse. It may well have passed to an entity known to Nakamoto. But according to the Urban Dictionary, Nor is defined as the most loving, affectionate and caring person you'll ever meet. Extremely smart, funny and sensitive, a bit lost still figuring out what she wants in life and how to reach it. Stubborn and not willing to take other people's advice. When she smiles, she makes you forget all the problems you have. Her hug will give you an assurance that you have never failed and will never do which seems to mean loads of different things, so that's not a very convincing interpretation of the usage. But there is another theory, is that it is a transliteration of the Arabic word into Latin alphabet nur, in which case its meaning is light. That got some people thinking, and it was a reference to the Lightning Network sidechain technology currently being used to scale transactions on the Bitcoin network. But obviously, not wanting to miss out several hours after the NOR post, Craig Wright, which is obviously a leading light behind Bitcoin SV, I call it a bit differently than what it's meant to be, and who claims to be Satoshi Nakamoto, tweeted, unfortunately, I don't know Arabic, so I can't read it. But I've googled it, translated, and it basically means the light of the world in trade. And that's according to Google Translate, so I hope it's not too bad. Now. If he had tweeted that before and not after the post at Peer-to-Peer -peer Foundation, then it might have had more import. But instead, it just seems to be right controlling the trolls he attracts under his particular bridge. He also tweeted in Chinese, presumably to cover all his bases. But none of that adds up any light to the matter at hand, so to speak. Besides, Rai was busy at the CoinGeek conference launching his own chain scaling plans for Bitcoin SV, although that does not preclude him indulging in a bit of mischief making. Other steps are what it all means include a reference to Lycon, which could certainly do with some help right now. But there is some sort of a chance and that a single version of the truth resides with Bagdan Tamanaha, and his social media profiles have been trolled through for clues. And actually, on 29th November of 2016, he wrote on his blog spot. The first time I heard about blockchain and Bitcoin, I understood almost nothing. It was 2011 and it was just nerds, but I downloaded software and thought I was already mining, participating in a decentralized processing chain worldwide and helping the movement in SETI at Homestyle. Search for extraterrestrial intelligence, late 90s internet fever. I did this and forgot. He also references that Tabs could block a revolution, consider the sector's seminal work, and Tamanaha's peer-to-peer -peer actually profile does not mention any coding skills, although he is active on Steemit. He is about me states actually that I'm a Brazilian with Japanese ancestry, working with advertising in social media and a blockchain and cryptocurrency enthusiast. I'm also a member of Fair Cup Sao Paulo local node, author of a 
personal blog and blockchain cut comics on Steemit and recently added in Satoshi Nakamoto friends list here. For now then we probably need to wait for another post from Satoshi and perhaps further communication from Tamanaha. Before the Nor post, the first thing the woke Satoshi account did was to make friends with Tamanaha. Tamanaha tweeted on the 30th of November in Portuguese, it looks like Satoshi has reappeared and I'm being investigated. That is not. Trasnos has been doing some digging on his LinkedIn and elsewhere and discovered he is in a group called I am a refugee and appears to be domestical in the US and is age 50-ish and holds a degree in advertising and social communications. So perhaps there is political statement being made but if so, why so cryptic? Again, there are no coding skills in evidence either that would be a common interest to conceivably help to link to Manaha to Nakamoto or the group that uses the name. But now the important question, is the dump incoming? So those who think it might be an entity connected to Nakamoto that's behind the new activity are speculating that it could be the prelude to some activity in the market. Like on one of those Reddit users said, next thing we know, a 1 million BTC will be moved to an exchange. Imagine the chaos and drama that would cause. Says React World on Reddit. And is someone about to do some Bitcoin trading, be it dumb or otherwise? Probably not, but who knows? It might be a good idea though to keep an eye on the next post by the alleged Satoshi Nakamoto and his newfound friend, Wagner Tamanaha. Maybe there is some big news coming down the line. We don't really know. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, let me know what you actually think of the latest Satoshi Toshi Nakamoto activity, whether you think it's actually him or has he actually been hacked or maybe none of the theories I have said is what you think it is and let me know what you basically think of it. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Remember to follow me on Twitter at AltcoinSara where you can stay up to date with what's going on and all the opinions I share. Obviously, subscribe to us at AltcoinBestLadies and follow us on Twitter at Ladies, so you can stay up to date with all the videos that we make. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your opinion and I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye bye.